Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at some additional issues that I've seen brought up in various comments, replies, and requests, but which I haven't already done videos on. Last time, we talked about the formula for baptism, and this time, how effective are prayers made by unbaptized people? Now, of course, there have been tests done by statisticians to try to determine the effectiveness of prayer, generally speaking. However, those sorts of tests aren't likely to be very helpful for a few big reasons. First, because not all prayers are actual petitions. There are prayers of worship and thanksgiving as well, which aren't said with the intention of gaining some favor. So many prayers could be effective in a way that we can't test for. Secondly, St. James wrote in James 4.3, that people often don't get what they ask for in prayers because they just want to spend it sinning or exposing themselves to sinful temptations. If God knows that answering your prayer will harm you on your path to heaven, it would be unloving of him to say yes to a prayer like that, so he doesn't. However, the most important reason with regard to the topic of baptism is that God often doesn't answer prayers from sinners and people ignoring his will. Here are just a few verses that mention this tendency on God's part. But your iniquities have divided between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he should not hear. Isaiah 59, 2 If I have looked at iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Psalm 66, 18 Then shall they cry to the Lord, and he will not hear them, and he will hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved wickedly in their devices. Micah 3, 4. These are only a few verses like this. There are many others. Now, notice what these verses do not say. They don't say, like the Quran, that God doesn't love the unjust or unbelievers. As Christians, we know that he does. However, he'll be less likely to respond to their prayers because they ignore or even hate his will. Now, what does this all have to do with baptism? And now, why tarriest thou? Rise up and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, invoking his name. Acts 22.16 One of the functions of baptism is to free us from sin. It does this completely, though not necessarily permanently. We can still sin again after being baptized, which is why John the Baptist also preached. And in those days cometh John the Baptist, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Do penance, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 3, 1 to 2. We need to repent of our sins, to turn our backs on them, and be sorry for having sinned against God. If we do these things, our sins can be removed, and our prayers will be far more effective, as St. James wrote, For the continual prayer of a just man availeth much. James 5:16b. So, if we're purified of our sins through the sacraments, we have every reason to suppose our prayers will be more likely to be effective. Now, there's one more issue with regard to this. What about people who can't be baptized, or don't know about baptism, or who couldn't be baptized in the days before baptism? Well, God is not under any obligation to answer the prayers of anyone, but even in the time before baptism, there was still a clear indication that people who really tried to be just and avoid sinning, even if they weren't associated with Israel, could have their prayers answered by God more readily than a bold sinner. A good example of this was Job an inhabitant of the land of Hus. He wasn't an Israelite, but nonetheless, he was simple and upright, doing good and avoiding evil, even making extra sacrifices to God in case any of his children had secretly cursed God in their hearts. Because of this, God blessed him with success, wealth, and a fine family, and with some pretty impressive compliments. And the Lord said to him, Hast thou, Hast thou considered, considered my servant, servant Job, Job, that there is there none is like him in the earth, earth a simple and upright man, man and fearing God, God and avoiding evil? evil? Job 1.8 So, even unbaptized people can have their prayers answered and can be given good gifts from God. Being unbaptized doesn't prohibit God from answering your prayers by any means. However, baptism removes the sin completely, so that an obstacle to your relationship with God is gone and that can only help the effectiveness of prayers. Next, why doesn't God do miracles more often? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.